Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Jordan. I'm to Abanese. Today I'm going to teach you how to determine closest distance between sites using Mapi for Professional. Mapi for Professional is a tool RF engineers always use for most of their works. And today, this is exactly what I'm going to do. Say, for instance, this is uh, Google Earth different sites plotted on Google Earth and you would want to know the for this site which of these sites are closest to it for this site which of these sites are closest to it so you can easily plot to determine this is an activity most times RF engineers do to determine which site is the closest to it um, this is a sample of the sites which you are going to prepare in your Microsoft Excel the site, the latitude and longitude to determine their coordinates and those, this does uh, what I'm going to do this is a mapping for professional uh, this is mapping for pro 16 version version 16 almost all mapping for professional sorts are the same the other thing is maybe different version different layout, different uh, GUI but most times they are the same so what we'll be mentioning using this version could also be found in lower versions or higher versions so first what i'm going to do is to come over here to upload those uh, those files which are prepared in excel sheets All right i'm going to open table And I put mine in desktop. Actually, we are going to come here to change to Excel to see what I have two of them. I want to determine distance from this to this, or distance from this. You can do with one Excel file, same, all right? Provided the points apply, I just decided to use two because I want to determine two separate files, two separate uh, files that contain different cells. So, this is my first time. Okay, so we the first one. I'm gonna open also upload for the okay. First table open, then we want to open the second uh second table. So go to the same location. Excel uh, T2. Mm -hmm. Table T2. So I want to plot the distance between table T1 and table T2. That's what I want to do. You can do it with only one table, but I want to just know from this guy to from this to this was the distance. Okay. Next is we are gonna plot these sites. You know, transform it into a map. This is just a table. Um, this can be done uh, using, depending on the version you're doing, you can have a place where, for lower versions, you can have table under which you will see the create points. This version, you just click on special create points. So, this T1, depending on where you want to do, you want to plot it to look like a real cell phone can change here all right okay then make sure x coordinate is on longitude and y coordinate is on latitude all right the vgs 84 is used in nigeria so this is going to come up automatically okay put it from first one but again from t2 t2 also everything is aligned already so you can if you want to see what you've plotted, um, you will see it on the map. You can easily come to here and see recent files. Alright, these are the two files I've plotted. Go this. You want to see the yourselves how it is plotted. I want to check for the second side. This is for T1. Uh, from the second one, which is T2. 
then you can easily of course if you if you click on quiet smart it's going to embed it together all right so you can click on quiet map you can see the same cell all around it if you click a different map it's going to bring up a new tab here which is a new map so these are the two things i want to check from the distance calculator to know the distance from one table to the of the closest sites from one with uh relating to tables and to do this <coughs> for for this i've already um on that map where you have map tools i already have distance calculator by right here but well, if you're working and you can't see the distance calculator then you are going to go to where you have tools window right then you go to tool extensions and this way you can now open for the one that you've not uh, uh, checked you can come over here and check it so it will easily come out when you go to your distance uh, when you go to map and then you go to map tools but I mean, for instance, if I didn't check it there, I don't want to see this, so I click this console. Alright, I'm trying to check distance from T1 to T2. So, for this first one, T2 is going to be T1, this second one is going to be T2. If you're trying to check for the same table, maybe a table that contains different cells, and you want to check the closest distance for those cells, then it means T1, T1 is going to be here, alright? Then you come over here to, if you want to ignore distances of zero, means for sites that are on the same location. You understand? If you want to check it, means you are not ignoring it. But when you check it, you are ignoring it. If they are on the same location, you don't want it to pick it. But if you want to check it, means if they are on the same location. That is the pick it all right and the unit all the units of being kilometer that just is number of distance to find that is the one just the closest side distance then you calculate so this is the result a b zero zero one the closest distance side to it is a b zero 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 six and the distance of a b zero 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 six from it is nine kilometer all right same thing for AB002. The closest side to it is 9, which is at 11 kilometers. So, I'm going to save my results. When you want to save your results, you can change the. You can change at tab file, yes. You know I mean, you can save as tab file, after which you will export later. So, let me give it a name. Distance. Okay. And you save and exit. Then you can easily open the file again. I mean the, the very top file which so the next line of action is to open the table which you plotted. This is what you name the distance. Okay. By the time you have opened the table. And you can now export it here on that table. This is on that table tab. Export the table. What you're exporting is the distance. You export it to the same folder where you've been opening it. You can export it to any folder anyway. I advise you do this everything in one folder. So you save it as CSV file. Okay. As if I so you can really check it out. This, this is the folder, and this is the distance which I have exported. Open it with Excel, and there you have it. Everything this is the origin, this is the closest distance, and this is distance in kilometer. 
All right. So thank you. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. YouTube.com slash Abundant Solutions. And also share my video for others to benefit from this training. As we are going to be uploading more training document training videos and so many other goodies will be coming on this channel. YouTube.com slash Abundant Solutions. Thank you. Bye-bye.